Hello! I'm Dope Diana and this is Diana Does Things. On this channel, I will be reviewing movies, music videos, other people's opinions, products, anything and everything in between. And today, today is the first official day because I did this before and it was, it did not turn out how I wanted it to. Anyways, this is the day. It's a Thursday. Christmas is on Sunday. It's 2022. I was sitting here in my apartment and I was like, like I want to chill today. I don't want to be in people's face. I don't want people in my face, in my space. Today, I just want to chill, okay? My period is about to start. So <laughs> I'm just like, I need to be in my own space, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, damn, I really want to watch something good. I love a good true crime doc. I love true crime. But I was like, my vibe is not on that. I will fucking kill somebody. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find something uplifting, something fun. I'm gonna watch something that is about Christmas. Cause I love Christmas and I love a bad Christmas movie. So shout out to my girl Kenny JD. I love her. She has the Christmas bingo. Hers is a lot better than mine. Mine's is bootleg. I'm gonna use her Christmas bingo to watch this Christmas movie and we're gonna have fun today. I'm super excited. I'm going to post this one. I promise myself I'm going to post this one. So let's read the description. Okay, I started watching this movie and I'm not even gonna lie. I got, I'm 10 minutes in and honestly the first three minutes I was like, okay. And then when I got to seven minutes, I was like, Okay, and I was like, I just gotta fucking pause this and I gotta fucking make a video. This is video worthy. So I am going to make this video. I got my Christmas bingo and let's talk about what this movie is even supposed to be about. It's about a dude who believes in Santa and he started dating this woman who doesn't believe in Santa. Here's the description. In this feel good holiday romance. Ugh, I love a good romance Christmas movie. They are so bad. Okay, this feel-good holiday romance, a woman who doesn't like Christmas discovers that the man she's dating still believes in Santa Claus. This is gonna be quirky, this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be feel-good. It's gonna be so bad, it's gonna be good. I, I feel like that in my heart, in my heart. I feel like it's gonna be a really bad, good movie. Okay. So I say, God bless America. Is that an actual Christmas song though? I don't know, I don't think so. I finally said Okay. <laughs> We already got one off the list. One black supporting character. Okay, I, I, <laughs> it's literally one minute and 30 seconds into the movie, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be the only black, legit, like black person acting in this movie. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross that off my bingo. <laughs> pretty sure. An interview with Millards for my article about their fall fashion line. And I just sent Grant my 4th of July article. Ah, well, yours is better. This was the easiest article I've ever had to write. This is first thing I came across when I started watching this movie. The black woman was like, yes, I just sent for an interview to interview this person about their fashion line. I'm so excited. And then the white woman says, I'm not gonna say it, say white woman too much because I know some of y'all get a little, uh, why does that have to be about race? The main character says, she's a white woman who's blonde. She says, I just sent off my article to whoever, whoever, their boss basically. And the woman's like, ah, this is, yours is so much better. And I'm like, how would hers be better? You literally just sent for an interview for someone's fashion line. That sounds like a lot better than finishing an article and sending it to your boss. That sounds like some regular shit. Dare we go down the rabbit hole that is white people doing regular shit and it's better somehow? No, let's keep going. <laughs> Independence Day, best holiday on the calendar. The so cringe, I'm already so fucking cringed out. It's right now we're at the 4th of July. She wrote, a article about Independence Day, how it's so, such a great, the greatest holiday. No feeling pressure to spend money, which makes it way better than Christmas. Way better than Christmas? Okay, so we just got That's introduced to who I'm assuming is the love interest. The woman put in her article that Christmas, that J 4th of July, sorry for spitting at you, I'm very passionate right now. <laughs> she said that 4th of July was the best holiday, so much better, than Christmas and I think that it, I think that's one of the I think that's one of the things I hear hold on wait 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 let me find it let me find it I know it in here ah! out of touch main character because who the fuck who New Year's Halloween be better than all are better than Independence Day nobody who the fuck who the fuck thinks that 4th of July is the best holiday better than Christmas who who what person out of touch main character that's it. Y'all, I'm gonna get bingo, like, <laughs> out of touch main character, check. Like, let's keep going. So, tell me more about Robert. Oh, Robert? 
Robert had a little conflict today. He's at the lake with his new girlfriend. See? Just a little conflict. Mm. Oh, my antenna. Okay, so one of these on here is dead parent or spouse. Technically, her ex-husband, the child's father, isn't dead, but he is a dead beat. So we're gonna count that as dead parent, dead spouse. I'm gonna fucking win this bingo. Like, please, God, let me win this fucking bingo. Dead beat death definitely counts. I don't care what you say. Okay, the love interest is here. At the same Fourth of July fair. Probably go on at around twelve thirty. Okay, thanks. Ah, I hate continuity. I'm so big on continuity. Look at the back of Shadi's head. Shadi is, is the child. The antenna her mom fixed. In one shot, it's down, like it wants to fall out. In the shot where it's close up, it's up. I will spot every single continuity issue ever. I hate that shit. <laughs> it just takes you out of the movie. Like I was a background actor, so I'm like already like out of the movie. I'm just looking at these as people on the screen, not as a movie. And when continuity, Issues come about. Ah! I freaking lose my mind, but it's fine. Uh, it's just me. It's just me. The movie's fine right now. Okay. You're not like gonna offer me candy, right? <laughs> no. Bro, she straight up just asked this man if he was. I don't care what you say. In kid terms, you're not gonna offer me candy, are you? That is straight up like, nigga, are you gonna kidnap me? trying to kidnap me right now and i don't think you're supposed to ask them that and then she said i wouldn't mind some candy i'm just like well do you want to get kidnapped or not don't tell them that what the hell wrong with you right next to each other buck 99. tommy you lost the kid that was a good one. now this was the part this was the part that made me pause the movie and say, oh, I gotta make a review. <laughs> Somebody choreographs these dances, y'all. Everything is on purpose. I'm not overthinking it. I am not being just an asshole. Everything is on purpose. Someone had to choreograph these children for this small scene. Why in the fuck would them turning over, bending over and shaking their ass be something needed in, in this movie or in this dance or in anything? Who's the director? Who's the producer? Who's the writer? Who is the fucking person who choreographed? Who the fuck? Who the fuck approved this? Maybe we didn't know what we were looking for. He does look weird though. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say anything else. He looks like a creep, like legit, but let's continue. I'm glad you're here. Oh. I guess someone's trying to give us a hint. I would've beat their ass. <laughs> like, nigga, that's them. You know how much wine costs at a restaurant? Ass would've been beaten that day. <laughs> I guess they're showing over time. So I'm I'm assuming it's gonna end up at Christmas. Yep, cause Halloween's here. Christmas is gonna be next and she's gonna find out he believes in Santa, which is still creepy. So it goes along with everything. Oh, that's cute. I love you too. That was cute. That was sweet though. I ain't gonna lie. The kids saying I love you too. That that was tears. Why is this so traumatizing for her? It's a freaking train. It's lights. Like it's Christmas. Hey, sorry. Do you think people don't celebrate because you don't? <laughs> Are you a fucking Grinch? <laughs> I mean, like I have friends who don't celebrate Christmas. I have a friend who hates Christmas. She's kind of a Grinch too, damn. I ain't gonna say your name, you know who you are. Don't kill somebody else Christmas spirit, that's all I'm saying, like, let me love it. <laughs> Just to walk around town and take in Christmas energy. Is it? Okay, look, God, I get it, you don't like Christmas, but right let now. me. She's really upset that this man loves Christmas. Contemplating whether she wants to be with him. She must have a horrible backstory, like if they don't show a horrible backstory, this bitch is just a bitch. <laughs> That's a dope shot. That was a dope shot. I love little stuff like that. So we want them to see something that makes them want to stay there and then go to the next thing. Lisa, you with us? Yeah. Yes, we already know that she's gonna fall in love with Christmas. She's gonna fall in love so with the guy. We gotta the come kids up with some new ideas. The guy, and then at the end, she's gonna be able to write an awesome Christmas article and it's gonna save everybody's job. Ta-da, Coco. Wow, that's fancy. Okay. I just uh, I figured it out, but I'm gonna refigure it out. Not. Write a terrible article including him, and then they're gonna break up. And then that's gonna help me cross off my bingo. And then have a great time and love each other again. And she's gonna write, rewrite the article. And it's gonna be the best article ever. 
Wow. Okay. That is okay. Deli <laughs> delicious. Can I show you? I will say I really like the chemistry. I think they have really good chemistry. Even from the beginning, I believed it. It was very believable for me. Like, Flock, yeah. It's so pretty. Right. Flock, yeah. Oh, Tom. Yeah. Your coat. Ooh. Looks like I've been flocked. <laughs> Last one. Only weird because he just said flock yeah, and you know that means fuck yeah. So for him, you get it. Ooh, she's out. <laughs> the fact that this man has several mistletoes over him, that looked like yo, we fucking tonight. <laughs> What if the believers are right and the doubters are wrong? Like in the third grade? <laughs> that Santa Claus is real. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! No, for real. It's dumb. Okay. You believe that there's a guy who lives in the North Pole and has elves making toys. Yep, all that. That's not something you say at a dinner table with three other grown ass adults. You, <laughs> Our friends would put me in a mental institution. Anybody would put you in a mental institution. If you really told them for real, you believed in Santa Claus as a fucking, how old is this man? At least 30 or 40. If I already didn't fuck with Christmas and then the person I'm dating tells me they seriously, beyond a shadow of a doubt, believe that there is a Santa Claus, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the mental institution. I am taking my ass home and I am blocking his number. <laughs> they, that that needs to be on what would you do? What would you do? Ashton, come, come tell me I'm punked. What the holy hell? It take, are they gonna go in his backstory at least? Are they going to look into or ask him why the fuck he believes this? Are are they? Because I, I think not. You are insane. And I've been sleeping with an insane guy in my bed. Don't just say Christmas magic. <laughs> That's part of it, though. But also, he obviously lives in a different version of time than we do. What's that now? Okay, I, 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 I li I'm not gonna lie. I like that explanation <laughs> i really fuck with like i love like the whole existential con like talks and like time and how time operates uh oh my god my favorite question is are we in a coma right now because literally you could literally be living in a coma right now and you would not fucking know like you could be looking at me but you're not actually looking at me you're 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 watching something while you're very much in a coma and you're going to wake up soon <laughs> and be in a whole different person in a whole different life Kinda like Tom for this conversation about being in a different span of time. Time is different for him. I love that. But collectively with everything else, you're still going into a mental institution for me. I'm sorry, I'm calling the police. Yeah, but not everybody celebrates Christmas. For most of the world, they do. Asan, you're a Muslim. Do you have something to add here? But I'm not making a joke. I believe in Santa Claus. Mi yes you yes now she now she should scream because that is fucking insane don't ask lawyer man who believes in santa you i'm calling the cops you should not be in society oh but it's a remix ah, it's, a, it's a fucking remix yes oh my god i'm i got five crossed off already y'all kind of, they got the black dude beatboxing i'm and 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 and, and uh, I just don't know how I feel about it. But what I'd really like yeah. is... Yeah, it's just... Oh, companies are gonna do... What I'm pretty sure she's saying for my mom and her boyfriend to get married. And I'm gonna count that as I wish to fall in love if that's the right, if that's right, so. It takes faith to believe in the unknowable. Okay. Are we trying to double this for like believe it in God type movie? <laughs> hear me out shoddy's an atheist he's very much christian and she's like and christmas is like you know christmas you know whatever so she's like yo how do you know god exists if you've never seen him that's why you have to have faith to believe i see where you're going ah! oh they definitely made a snow globe already
I'm gonna pause this because I'm hungry as hell. One second. And we back. I had to give me some of these. I was fucking hungry watching this dumbass movie. It's a little case again. My mommy got me from the Mexican spot. Ladies, though, be, be real. He's a great man, great father. I mean, he ain't a father yet, but you know, he loves our kid. Like, they get along, it's everything. She just asked him to read a book to her. Would the Santa thing be just a complete no for y'all? Be honest. Like, if he really truly believed in Santa, do you think that would cross up every great good thing he's done and is? Like, I'll go first for me, yes. <laughs> Number one. That dream is so fucking stupid. Number one for me, yes. Yeah, it would. It would. I'm sorry. You're insane. Oh, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments for real because some people are like, yeah, you, you might, it might be fun. He got money. He's a great potential father. He's a great spouse, potential spouse. Will him believing in Santa deter you from marrying him or wanting to be with him? Be completely honest. I'm going to say no. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't want to be with him. <laughs> I don't want to go. Yeah, you know, but I planned on going, so I feel like stuff. I really need to go. Like, that's fun. Do something different. Thank oh, don't stay in all the time. Oh, you're, you're fucking prude. Who the fuck hurt you? You're not Santa going. beat your ass at some point, yeah. or someone you thought was Santa. Like, what happened to you? Like, honestly. Seven years old. Okay. I found a Barbie in my parents' closet that was supposed to be to me from Santa. I told them about it. They didn't give it to me. They returned it. Blamed me for ruining my own Christmas. That is absolutely the worst backstory. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. But <laughs> that's the one thing you're grown as. Can okay, we all got trauma. Okay, everything starts from childhood. But that story? I believe in Santa once, but I found my Barbie in a closet. And my parents took it back. And then we never had Christmas ever again. That's just not enough. Like, oh, sorry, I definitely, I definitely spit some bell pepper out. That's not enough. Sorry, time. Your pain oh my is my pleasure because I'm about to win this fucking bingo. <laughs> I never should have told Lisa. Jolly old Saint Nicholas, and I want to hear everyone singing. Lisa, okay. I've been a much better. Singer. I know this woman from bringing down the house. <laughs> I was like, I know you from somewhere. Amongst other things, but mostly iconically, bring down the house for me. Sorry. <laughs> Unless there's something I'm missing, she looks really good. <laughs> he didn't age badly. She actually looks kind of exactly the same. <laughs> he better not turn for this bitch. He better not fucking turn. He better keep believing in Santa. Okay, unless he goes to a mental institute and they help him figure out that Santa is not a real person. Robert had to leave the country on assignment deadbeat and the sled race is sunday i have not built a lot of cardboard sleds in my life I I black. My mom, <laughs> Tom, she is busy this week how do you know you didn't even ask him i just know okay She's, well he fucking sucks if your kid is into it don't do that for the, like for the kid keep do like you are such a fucking prude, bitch. Well, thank God they went to Tom's house. Fuck. Thank you, Tom. Love this. Your place is awesome. No, I don't like Christmas. Why would you assign me this? Because I'm your boss? Because you're a prude? I chose you for this because I have faith in you. I know you'll find it. That was nice. Little pieces of this movie make it a good movie. The main character is just ass. Ass. Trash. Ass. Garbage. Dumpster fire. Just, I, I just don't like her. Hi. Come on in. Thank you for letting me come over. Absolutely. What's what she doing with her son? Why Whoa, is he having dinner with her son? That is delicious. Oh, she's trying to get a son to help her with the whole Christmas celebration thing because he's, he's a Muslim in her words. And I think that's what she's trying to do, but this is this is not this is not appropriate. <laughs> How are you so okay with this? Like this could have been a phone call. <laughs> Look on some of the people's faces when they find out that I'm a Muslim. My beliefs somehow put me in the category of dangerous or evil or weird or whatever they associate that. He never did that to me. He didn't care that my beliefs were different from his. So how can I do that to him? Be fucking for real. 
be fucking for not Muslim. So I I guess I can't totally speak on this topic, but he basically just said people hated me because I was Muslim and they thought I was dangerous or evil, which we all understand that narrative. We know about that type of stuff. But then he says that he never judged me for my beliefs. How could I judge him for his? About Santa? About someone who is actually not real? I'm gonna check after the movie, but I'm gonna say that a white person wrote this. <laughs> I'm gonna say there was a team of white writers that wrote this. And if I'm wrong, I will take it back. I will take back everything I said about this movie. White person wrote this. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Let us reluctantly continue. I'm so glad this movie's almost over. <laughs> Fuck. But Santa isn't religion. Okay, white woman said it. The only difference between religion and Santa is that as we get older, religious grown-ups tell us that our faith was right all along. But they don't have proof either. They just tell us that the stories we believe are true. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I can't, I'm not gonna speak on it anymore because I don't fucking know. I'm not Muslim. So I really can't speak on it. But this, the way they put in it just sounds so fucked up. You just chose not to believe the grown ups. <sighs> My brain fucking hurts my brain hurts please wrap this up in a good good nice pretty bow for fuck's sake <laughs> terrible green screen <laughs> this is terrible <laughs> and how the fuck are they staring this thing oh my god it's cardboard you're gonna break your fucking tailbone there's no way you're gonna fly with those small ass wings come on let's be honest oh i'm so god. over it i'm so over it it's a child's it's Who's move? Who's this for? <laughs> this is a child movie or an adult movie? I have no fucking clue anymore. But they won. I love it. Everybody's ass should be fucking in. Like your tailbone should be in pieces. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. For real. Are you for real going to marry a man who for real believes in Santa Claus? And then you've only been dating six months. Like. No. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry. I do not approve. <laughs> you gotta be fucking insane. You gotta be even more insane. A little magic never hurt anybody. I love it. Mm -hmm. I gotta cry. It's funny how I can hate a movie and also want to cry from the same movie. <laughs> you can believe that, and I love you anyway. And you not that. This is so cringe because it feels like they're talking about Christianity. Like this is this is actually about fucking religion. Because Yay! Tom? That means Santa is real. But we don't know because he could have just bought her the iPhone to help her believe in Santa some more. I'm fucking confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, hold on. First of all, let me figure out who the fuck wrote this shit. Who wrote I believe I believe I can fly. I believe in Santa. The person who is John Ducey who wrote this is Tom. <laughs> can't make this shit up this man wrote this movie and acted in it and produced it i'm so i'm fucking done i'm fucking over it no fucking wonder this is oh god born in 1969 what does that make him like close to 50 51 oh my god fuck me it's so terrible of course of course he wrote it oh man Oh, Ugh. I have to, I have to catch my breath. My head must explode. <laughs> my head. Fuck. Did you even ask anybody? God. You know, you fucking know. I don't have to say it. That was. 
thank you thank you for your contribution but no immediately no immediately no all right i'm fucking done i'm fucking done all right my bingo i, I basically won fuck it shout out to kenny jd for the christmas bingo uh, <laughs> i cannot believe this uh, but i can but i can thanks for watching this video thanks for tuning in to my christmas spirit demise <laughs> please check back in for the next video don't go watch that movie unless you want your fucking head to explode thanks for tuning in catch y'all in the next video <laughs> peace the fuck out ah!